Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to the top 10 best supports of Patch 7.01. Here we're going to be running through some extremely successful, and maybe not so successful, but nonetheless extremely good supports, who are really great right now. Dazzle! So Dazzle maintains a re relatively, well at least positive win rate, with his excellent healing and life-saving ab saving abilities. An all-round solid support, typically popular, obviously hard countered by Axe, but nonetheless has excellent both team fight, team buff presence, but also, like I say, very good in the laning phase, particularly at keeping people alive. And uh, of course, providing he's not hard countered, it proves to be an extremely resilient and effective support. Vengeful Spirit. Vengeful Spirit enjoyed quite a nice talent tree buff in the recent patch, and uh, and still remains a complete terrorist, frankly. Once again, very solid win rate, reasonably decent uh, pick rate, but just very, very versatile. Excellent disable, once again, a very strong laner. Terrifying, really, to play against, and very good at securing kills and stealing enemies uh, in teamfights. So uh, one definitely to look out for. Now, Io remains one of the least picked and uh, lowest win rate heroes right now in the patch. So you might be thinking, what the hell is it doing in the top 10? Unfortunately, Io's biggest weakness is that the people that do descend to generally uh, pick him don't tend to pay him, play him very well. But given his huge life-saving abilities and his mass teleportation um, skills, he's actually insanely strong, particularly when in the hands of, say, someone like Miracle. So uh, definitely one that I thought should get there. Ogre Magi! So Ogre Magi in the previous patch was a total terrorist. Uh, picked and banned an incredible amount, even in the uh, even in the Boston Major. Still boasting a very strong and incredible pick rate. I think it's a mixture of different things. Naturally, of course, his ultimate and the multiple cast of his ability, but Bloodlust on carries makes carries go crazy killing sprees um, and of course solid solid lockdown so uh definitely definitely one worth taking for a spin if you play support visage. now visage was really out of style in the previous patch but when the uh, this new patch came out visage actually had to be nerfed um given the insane level of uh, damage and impact the familiars were having in the game uh so so now it's been nerfed you can see the uh, win rates sort of dropped a little bit again but uh but nonetheless a very very strong support uh and still well worth a spin um it, even at higher tiers as well so uh yes uh quite scary slada now as many of you may have noticed slada isn't particularly uh, or typically played as a support but nonetheless can play as a support and actually has quite an interesting impact on the game so I thought we may as well include him in the top 10 here um, plenty of damage uh, plenty of lockdown and like I say great chase down once again a good example of someone who uh, particularly with a good laning partner can have an insanely scary impact in the laning phase but all around as well nice thing about him is he can then transition into a carry role if required Crystal Maiden. Who could forget Crystal Maiden? Um, one of the first supports I uh, enjoyed playing heavily. Um, very, very strong, just for so many different reasons. I, I, the thing I particularly love about her is her uh, global mana regen abilities. But insane in lane, one of the strongest support laners. Um, An excellent AoE damage. Um, and the Ags upgrade is uh, a nice little uh, buff to her. But nonetheless, even prior to this patch, she was... Uh, very strong win rates. Great impact on the game. Look out for her. Treant Protector. Treant, sadly, um, courtesy of patch 7.01, got nerfed. Um, but prior prior to that wonderful um, talent tree nerf, um, he was quite insane. One of the actual highest win rates in, in the patch. Um since the nerf, still very, very strong. Great AoE lockdown. Um, insane gank ability uh, and potential. Uh, and all around really, really solid and very good at resisting pushes. So, um, no, great hero. Runic. 
Now, Rubik's a funny one because, unfortunately, uh, people aren't playing him particularly well uh, right now. However, still very, very strong pick rate. And still has a, cra is a crazy anti um, support, as it were, in the sense that steals great AoE lockdowns and then uses it on the enemy from a distance. So, um, right now, surprisingly effective in the patch and in the right hands, much, much higher win rates can be expected. So, definitely look out for that one. Omni Knight! So it had to be Omni Knight. I, I, I really did struggle with this one. I did want to put Trient first, but um, but <laughs> the stats, unfortunately, still remain very solid. He isn't quite... Um, he, although his win rate has slightly gone down, still an insanely high win rate, still highly effective at keeping people alive in the lane, insane presence in teamfight, very, very hard to kill. And like I say, free BKB. I mean, what more can you want from a hero? So yeah, still very, very strong. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like more videos with the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it.